whenever I meet my friends, whether at home or in the lift or at workplace, most of the time we are talking about our children's studies because that is one of the top concern for us parents. And many times I have heard that we are all talking or complaining about too much homework. Now, have you ever thought why children are given homework? Is this just some ploy by teachers to keep them busy or does it really serve some purpose? To understand that, let us first look at some points for the importance of homework. Why homework is given to our children? Now, as a teacher myself for almost 30 years, I have seen that students who complete their homework in time, who hand over their work in time, they, are, they perform better in exams and in their learning. So, homework actually supplements and reinforces the work done in the classroom by a child. Then it helps in building good study habits because the child is then forced to, to sit. I use the word forced. He is, he is required to sit for a uh, time to complete his homework. So it inculcates good study habits in him. It teaches time management skills and very importantly, it develops some crucial life skills like taking initiative, self-reliance and responsibility and brings home and school closer together. I firmly believe that when the child takes ownership for doing the homework and parents positively support it, that helps in bringing school and parents closer and as a result students perform very well and if the child is doing all this then of course he is uh, better prepared to handle future challenges in life so if we as parents understand the value of doing homework by our children it is it will be a very, very positive for their achievement. Now, how parents can help their children? That is a very big question. I am being asked most of the time that how parents can help their children. How parents can help their children in this respect of doing homework. Now the first step we can take is a supervise the child. For this, we as parents need to meet the teacher or teachers of, the children, of our child in the beginning of the academic session and find out how often the homework is assigned and how to do it. Because usually teachers have uh, uh, some requirement that for how the homework needs to be submitted, whether it, is it a practice assignment or whether it is a term project, what type of assignment and how it is to be submitted. It, is it done on worksheets or is it done on exercise book or is it done on A4, loose sheets and then stapled and passed to the teacher. So we need to look into those aspects, understand it properly so that then we can guide and supervise our child properly so that there is no issue in, in, uh, the, uh, in doing the homework or in handing it properly. Then the second step, which is very important, 
uh, from our parents' point of view is that we need to provide a suitable study area and also the necessary tools to our children. And what, what do I mean by this? That either you can provide a room if you can or set aside a quiet, well-lit place in a corner of the room with a study table for him to study. Set is time for him for doing homework with no telephone calls or distractions allowed. A routine for doing homework will get the children in the habit of settling down to their studies. Now, different children are active at different times, so choose the time according to their preference. The important thing is that you must enforce the designated study period. To save on time and energy, keep the stationary items like pens, pencils, books, practice papers, etc. stocked up in the house. That is what I mean by necessary tools. Otherwise, you or your child would be running to the market all the time. The pencil is finished or the pen needs a refill and things like that. So if you want to really save on time and energy and, and on money also, so it's better to keep enough of stationery stocked up in the house, of course, under your supervision and uh, so that you can give, give it to your child whenever it is needed. Then, very important step is involve your child in planning homework schedule. Many times what we parents do that we decide the time that after the child comes from school then he rests for one hour and then he will do this maths homework, then he will do English homework. We decide the time and uh, his uh, other activities. What I suggest is that you involve your child in planning his uh, homework timetable. As a result of it, he feels he is a part of it and then he will start taking ownership for it. Allow for free time when assignments are completed. Praise your child's efforts and perseverance when good work is done. So as a result of this, your child will start taking ownership. He will start feeling a sense of achievement, a sense of satisfaction that this is what he planned, this is what he achieved, mama is happy and so he will feel, uh, he will also feel happy uh, doing his homework. But then comes a problem. What should be done if the homework doesn't get done? If the homework doesn't get done in time, then what needs to be done? Because this is, this is a very, very common problem. Most of the time we face this. Or another thing can be that the homework is done very hurriedly, sloppily. So what we need to do, we have to look at the homework done. Even if you don't understand it or you don't want to check it, no problem. Be observant of the handwriting and the general quality of answers or solutions. If it is not up to the mark, ask your child to do it again. Let your child know that hurrying through the homework will not shorten the study period. So we have to be firm and consistent and make sure that the child does the homework properly. And another very important aspect which sometimes we don't pay much attention to is that for achieving all this, we need to limit their after school activities. Now experts say the real problem isn't the homework but the overscheduled kids whose prime afternoon study time is filled with 
music lessons, sports, swimming lessons, extracurricular activities, remedial classes, and far too much time is spent in watching TV, playing video or computer games, etc. So what are parents supposed to do? You have to pull the plug out after school. Limit the time your child spends with the TV, Game Boy, computer and other distractions. So, it is very important to keep a track of after school activities and depending on the level of your child, for example, he's in pre-primary or primary or secondary level, depending on the level of the child, you have to then prioritize his other activities with the assignments given. Now, even then, if your child is unable to cope with too much after-school homework, then the last resort is you need to contact the teacher and speak up your concerns. Discuss with the teacher how the school day can be better structured to get more homework done at school. Most important for us parents is to remember that there is a direct relationship between homework done and student achievement. So rather than criticizing teachers or homework, we have to be their ally and get the homework done by our children completely and happily with a sense of achievement and satisfaction. Remember, we learn by doing. This is the motto we have to remember that our children learn by doing as we also do, not by reading or seeing or hearing it. Only by doing enough of practice, only by completing the homework because that is meant to give enough practice on the topic, our children will be able to learn a new topic properly and effectively. So good luck for guiding your uh, children in doing homework. Bye.